Hey hockey friends! As goalies, we all know the helmets are a pretty important part of our gear. And people sometimes ask me as a beer leaguer, hey, you ever get hit in the face? And I say, yeah, pretty much every game and usually in warm-ups. Having a good helmet is extremely important. I, I started playing with a helmet that I paid like $100 for. I didn't really know, you know, uh, what the deal was with helmets. I'm like, hey, I'll get this cool helmet for 100 bucks. I had a face on it. I thought it was pretty neat. But uh, every time I got hit in the head, I'd get these ringers, these ringing sounds in my ears. And I guess those are tiny concussions. I don't know. I'm not a medical guy, but I think that's like a tiny concussion. So as soon as I picked up a better helmet, I that went away completely. It was a Bauer Enemy 7 and I played with that for years and it was a great helmet. I got the right fit for my face. If it's not squeezing your face, it's not doing its job. So that helmet was awesome. But now it's been a bunch of years. It's kind of beat up and it's time to get a new helmet. So I spent a little bit of money, got a cool helmet. And I think a lot of us have this question when we spend money on a good helmet, you know, should I get it painted? Should I get it wrapped? Or should I just leave it alone? So this video is kind of about making that choice. Sit back, grab a cold one, and enjoy the show. All right, so getting your helmet painted or getting your helmet wrapped? I don't know, it's a tough decision. And sometimes a lot of people just don't even make that decision because it's just uh, difficult to kind of go through that whole big process. Well, I'm here to tell you it's really not that hard. You gotta find a good artist. I know one. I'll tell you all about him by the end of this uh, by the end of this video. And as far as wrapping goes, I'm sure you can get a good wrap done somewhere. I've seen a couple guys get their helmets wrapped, and they were super excited about it when they first got it. But in both cases, uh, they didn't like the wrap after not too long, and it actually started peeling up on them. So I went ahead and chose to go with the paint route, and I uh, found a really good artist, and he uses an automotive clear guy, so he sprays automotive clear on there, which is supposed to protect it from putts. So we'll see if that's true, too. Anyway, check this out. Here's how you do it. Step one. Get yourself a decent helmet. All right, so I picked up a Bauer 950X. It was on clearance. It's a pretty good deal for these things right now if you can find them. It's a really nice helmet. It's not a super high pro level helmet, but it's a pretty high level like beer league helmet. And I also got a cage from goalieparts.com and it's, uh, it's powder coated, the cool color, and I got the outside of strap so you can see the back plate. Step two. Gotta have ideas. I wanted mine to look like it was made out of bones like this cool Pecorino helmet here. I also wanted some crazy eyes on the back like this awesome Peter Mrazek helmet. And I wanted a hungry hippo on there because I feel like when that puck's bouncing around the crease and you grab it with your mitt, it's sort of like a hungry hippo. And of course I wanted a beer drinking a beer. And I also wanted some stripes, kind of like these because stripes are cool. Step three. You're going to need a good artist. But like I said, I know one. So. We're gonna go find him. He lives in this super cool city called Elgin, Illinois. It's a city about 35 miles west of Chicago. It's a cool old river town. It used to have a lot of industry and a lot of business going on, but it's not like that too much anymore. It's kind of went under disrepair for a little while, but that city's working real hard to bring it back, and they got a really cool thing going with artists right now. You can be a sculptor, a painter, uh, whatever you are, but you can live in this cool place called the Elgin Art Space Lofts, and uh, you get like a grant from the government. It's pretty neat. All right, you gotta find yourself an artist, like Ken. Ken Simons in studios right here. He works and lives in this place. Hey, Ken. <laughs> Hello, Chris. Welcome. <laughs> awesome. Look at some of these cool things he made. <laughs> he likes a lot of cool, scary stuff. <laughs> I love the gummy bears. Candy bar. <laughs> Can't you paint anything, but he can also make anything. He made an Acme anvil because he did something with the cartoons for the Warner Brothers stuff. And look at these incredible drawings he's done. Any given Sunday, it's awesome. It's a cool gator, frog, some splashy milk antlers. And this is the poltergeist image. I love this. Step four. All right, so typically the artist will send you shots of their progress. Here's the mask disassembled and protected, and then a new base coat. This is the Photoshop mock-up that Ken sent me. Here's the helmet covered in layers of frisket film, and then the artist peels that off and shoots the darkest spots first, and then peels off layer after layer and shoots the rest. Until he's making progress, making progress, and then he's almost done. And then uh, the last layer comes off and the most detailed stuff goes on. 
and then it's pretty much done. Check out that comparison. Holy cow. Step five. And then you gotta go get your hat or they'll ship it to you. So today's a pretty big day. We're heading out, pick something pretty cool up. <laughs> All right, it's a moment of truth. We're at Ken's again. There's Ken. <laughs> Oh, so like I said, I'm just putting her back together right now. Final assembly. <laughs> Me and Ken are going to grab a beer. Celebrate. You're All right, I'm celebrating here with Ken because he just painted the most incredible helmet that's ever been made ever. <laughs> this is Ken Simonson. Hello. Ken Simonson's Airbrush Studios. Tell us about Ken Simonson's Airbrush Studios. Uh, I've been airbrushing since the mid 80s. Back then I was doing commercial illustration. Uh, it, kind of died out since they came out with programs like Photoshop and so forth which I had to relearn my entire trade but I always stuck to the airbrush because I make uh, Halloween masks and things like that I do mural work I do fine art so I've always loved the airbrush um, but I'd say it was probably right around the time that Orange County Choppers came out <laughs> suddenly everybody knew about custom bikes and painting so that's pretty much when I opened my airbrush shop. Uh, I do a lot of other different work nowadays. I, I, I still do commercial illustration and graphic design but I love it when a good friend like Chris uh, gives me a challenge and you know I get to break out the airbrush again. So uh, I'm always wearing a different hat but like I said I love Ken paints everything. <laughs> I this love guy, those challenges. So he's paints. He painted motorcycle helmets, and you know, he's painted a plane. <laughs> it's crazy. He painted a zamboni. He's done so many different things. But if you need a goalie helmet done, this guy's your guy. I can't. I can't say enough good things about him, man. He's amazing. Ken, he did freelance for me years ago as a yes, graphic designer at a company I was working for. He came in, just did a whole bunch of cool graphic design for me. And one day I called him up and said, Hey, Ken, I need you to do some more graphic design for me. And he goes, oh man, I'm not doing graphic design anymore. I'm, I got my own airbrush studio. <laughs> and that's when he went to go paint the plane. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> Tell them how, how they can find you. Uh, let's see, I, my studio is downtown Elgin. It's at the art space, uh, Elgin Art Space Lofts. I've got a website, it's actually Simonson Studios and it's spelled funny, it's P-S-Y-M-O-N-S-T-U-D-I-O-S.com. I'm getting better at the social media stuff. I don't post all the time, but I guarantee you Chris's helmet will be up there soon. So. <laughs> Thanks, Ken. You bet. Awesome. We're going to go back to drinking beers. <laughs> okay, hockey friends. So, like I promised, I was going to let you know how this helmet does when it gets shot at with pucks. So, I've been lucky enough to play three ice games and two inline games with it so far. And in every single case, I got hit in the head at least once couple games several times so there's not a scratch on it it's automotive clear over the airbrush paint job totally can handle pucks no problem at all so I'm highly recommending getting your helmet airbrush painted get it from Ken if you can ship your helmet to him he'll ship it right back all beautiful it's a good process I recommend it highly all right man good luck everybody keep those pucks out of the net time for beer Ugh. Nice and tight. All right, hockey friends, I gotta go find Moose. He's supposed to be mowing the grass, and uh, I can't find him. Moose! Hey! He's supposed to be mowing the grass. 